So there's this like super creepy rapist, like he raped me, um, guy named Walid, and I don't know how he found out, but apparently he worked for the government, but I'm like, you're retarded and you smoke crack, how are you working for the government of Canada? And apparently he found out about how, oh, they didn't have authority to do this. Okay, the problem is that the shelter staff thought that they had authority to pull all of these moves off. Like, it wasn't going to be illegal for them because they work for the government and they're authorizing it because they have reasons for it. Again, they're actually just, they don't have reasons for it. In fact, they, it's really illegal. They're going to end up in prison, which I already told them. But I, I'm telling them this because they should, what they should be doing is finding a lawyer to take on their case or defend them in the case that they need their sentence reduced. And they need to find somebody to help manage your finances and they need somebody to make sure that they're gonna be okay after they get out of prison. This is why I'm telling them this. They didn't get this. They think I'm going to prison. And I'm like, for what exactly? <laughs> what evidence do you have of me committing these crimes? There's evidence of you committing them. But that's what they have done. Um, they keep telling me that they're not going to prison, but I'm going to prison. I don't know why Wally, for some reason, works for the government or something. And he found out that Service Ontario was doing something illegal. Again, the only reason he was involved in that is because he was using my plates and my insurance illegally. And Service Ontario was the one authorizing it. But I'm like, I didn't let this guy, I don't know this guy. I've never met this guy before in my life until that day and when I was said hello and for some reason he got super paranoid and thought that I was after him because I he thought that I knew that he was using all of my like things I don't know how they even gained access to that I think it has something to do with the government just not working properly and there has been like a lot of incompetence that's going on which is why it's failing that's the reason why you know how you don't when you don't maintain your car it breaks down right you see the engine light signal come on and you're not even going to pay attention to it. And you want to believe that you don't need to take your car in for repairs. And everything's going to be fine after. Yet that's what they're doing right now. <laughs> There's a lot of problems going on. It's not just with me. But specifically, all of the illegal activities they've done are directed towards me. <laughs> I don't know why. They have no evidence for any of the things that they're claiming that I was involved in. In fact, they're making it up. And yes, it's also a what is it? Convictable, indictable offense for making up evidence in court, <laughs> which I also mentioned. I'm like, you can't actually make up evidence, show it to the judge, and expect the judge to believe you. <laughs> Even I don't believe you, and I'm not a judge. No one else believes you, and they're not judges. The judge is definitely gonna think you're insulting them and their intelligence by showing them that evidence is clearly fake. <laughs> But yeah, that's what they're doing. Um, I don't know why Wally is so like adamant on the fact that I should be with him. And I'm like, I don't like you. Wally, I don't care about you. And I don't care about anything you do to me. And I'm not scared of you. That's what I have told him explicitly, word for word. And he still seems to be under the impression that I am in love with him. And I need him in my life. And I'm like, why would I... I'd rather be single, honestly. Even if you were the last man on earth, I still wouldn't want to marry you. Like, that's that's my answer. He thought that we were married, and he thought that like we were in love and everything, and I'm like, I, I don't know who told you this, like why, why you thought that this would be possible, but it's not. Yeah. And now they're panicking because I don't need them in my life. Like, I'm not going to ask them for things. I'm not going to, like, depend on them for anything. I haven't, if they've noticed. I've never done that in my life. And also, um, they keep talking to people that I, were never, I was never friends with. I'm like, I told them, like, I wasn't going to, like... They were all involved in that shit, too. I'm like, look, if this ever goes to court, you guys are on your own. I am not defending you. I'm not going to tell anything nice about you. I'm not going to say that I deserved it or that it was reasonable. I'm going to say it's entirely unreasonable what they did. It was illegal and I told them not to do it. And there's evidence of me saying that this wasn't okay and I've even notified them. Yeah, and I've also notified the government in writing and all that kind of stuff. Like, I'm not going to be on your side whatsoever. 
Like even if you go to prison, you get out, there's nobody else left to help you and if you're about to die, if I don't give you food, I have the right to refuse food to you because you're harmful to my life. Because you haven't apologized for anything. And likely, in fact, I'm getting guarantee, I can guarantee this. If I keep you alive, you're just gonna go away and find a reason to attack me again, which is why I have a reason to watch you die. So don't even try to come at me after all that shit happened and you're like, please help me. You're the only person who can help me. I feel like you can go fuck yourself. Here's a cactus. You can use it as a tildo. I literally don't give a shit about you.